First up at six, a live look at Capitol Hill, where after two days of voting, there's still not a House Speaker. News 13's Manny Martinez is live in our newsroom. And Manny, I know you followed up with South Carolina's 7th District Congressman-elect Russell Fry about this ongoing stalemate. Bob and Annette, Russell Fry told me to before today's votes that Kevin McCarthy is the party's clear choice as Speaker of the House. Fry says Republicans need to come to an agreement quickly to get to work while an FMU political science professor says Americans have short political memories and will likely move on if the Republican House delivers on key legislation. It's time to get to work. It's time to govern. It's time to do our jobs. South Carolina 7th District Congressman-elect Russell Fry calling on his Republican colleagues to decide on a House speaker. A speaker has not been elected. After multiple rejections of California Republican Kevin McCarthy, three yesterday, and at least three more today. We're going to get there. We're going to select a speaker, a Republican speaker. Uh, that's going to be Kevin McCarthy. The intrigue and the, the mysticism up here you know, surrounding the speaker vote is really clogging up good work that we need to be doing. You can't do the same thing over and over again, expect different results. South Carolina 5th District Rep Ralph Norman, one of the 20 Republicans voting against McCarthy's speakership, meaning House business is still on hold as members have yet to be sworn in. Even if they get a speaker, these same 20 people or a few of them can can muck things up. Francis Marion now, University political science up. professor David White says the role of speaker periodically goes through shifts in power dynamics as the current group of Republican holdouts wants more checks on the job. If they get a speaker within the next month, nobody will remember next year. Do you think the day ends today with McCarthy as speaker? I don't know. I'm optimistic. I think eventually uh, things will fall into place when that is. You know, I'm just the, I'm the new guy in town, so I'm just along for the ride at this point. And Fry says he's committed to McCarthy and doesn't see himself voting for anyone else. Fry had 200 people from the district with him for his swearing in ceremony. Still no timetable as to when that'll happen. The House voted to adjourn until eight tonight. Live in the newsroom, Manny Martinez, News 13. Thanks a lot, Manny. In the most recent time, a speaker was not elected on a first vote. That was 100 years ago, back in 1923. It took nine votes then. However, back in 1856, it took two months and 133 votes to choose a House speaker. Most likely will not go that far this time.